our previous session, we introduced the idea of concept mapping. In this session, we shall implement the idea to build the concepts of shapes, vocabulary related to spatial relations, describing shapes, sorting and classification, 2D shapes and flat objects. By implementing the zero investment innovative idea of concept mapping, we shall conduct some hands-on activities to make the students self-experience the concepts of this lesson. For this, we will need a ball, a leaf and a few stationary items like pencils, pens and notebooks. Start the activity by displaying a ball to the students. To make the session more interactive, we will ask a few leading questions. Ask the students, where would you go and play with the ball? The possible responses will be outside, on the playground and many such places. On the playground? Yes. Now, let's take all the students out on the playground. Engage the students in a game of passing the ball around. Let them have some fun. Now, after the students have enjoyed playing, ask them to gather near a slide and take the ball back from them. Ask a student at random to go up the slide. Now, ask that student to slide down. To keep the students engaged, ask them, what will happen if I push this ball from the top of the slide? Note the students' responses. Now, ask them, if your friend was sliding down the ramp, will the ball also slide down or will it roll down? As the students try to answer this question, critical and creative thinking skills will be developed amongst them. Inform the students that an object moving in a rolling motion while going down the slide is said to be rolling. Let's explain this with the help of an example. Tell them, for instance, if a ball or a pencil is placed sideways on a flat surface and pushed down the slide, it will roll down the slide. Next, continue the discussion by telling the students that when we push an object which does not spin down the slide, then it's said to be sliding down, just like their friend who came sliding down the slide. Next, tell them that we're going to collect more things to check if they roll or slide down. Collect things which are found around the ground along with the students. Now, try pushing down the collected objects from the slide to see if they slide or roll down. Make a list of the objects, classifying them based on whether they slide or roll down. Ask the students to give their inputs. Let's take the students back in the classroom. Instruct them to settle down. Inquire if they had fun playing with the ball. The students may respond saying yes. Further, ask them to guess why the ball rolled down the slide and why the leaf slid down. Record their responses. Conclude this activity by beginning the concept mapping by writing the words sliding and rolling on the board. More of this will be continued in our next session.